uh, we're always trying to learn, trying to improve, and data like that will improve your herd. And that's what we're in it for. We're trying to make a better go. Let's go take a quick look at them. Before we get back on the road to Texas. Here they are. Well, what do you think, Joe? Tell me about it. I just, I just like the way they performed and, and turned out. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Bodark Kikos. I'm Josh, and thanks for clicking on this video. It's time to go pick our bucks up from the buck test, and uh, we dropped them guys off June the 17th, so they've been competing ever since, and it's come to the end, and today we're going to go pick them up. So uh, what's been going on in the buck test is they're testing for average daily gain, weight gain. They're test testing for parasite resistance. There's several tests that goes on. They monitor them, uh, they pull them in, get weights, get famachas, and uh, they kick them back out on pasture. So it's a forage-based test, uh, minimal amount of grain, uh, less than one pound per day per head. So they're not getting very much uh, feed but they are getting grass and then they did go through a drought so as we went through this drought here they did too and our bucks um, with the numbers that they put out uh, we had one that was competing in the average daily gain and uh, they haven't released any numbers here recently so uh, today is the day that they're going to come in and they're going to release uh, the numbers at the end and tell you how everybody done see how our bucks stacked up all i want is for our guys just to compete just to go in there compete and uh, it's our first time so it's a learning experience for us and i'm going to bring you guys along uh picking them up there's a ceremony there's a lunch there's a speaker so we're going to see our bucks for the first time in a couple of months and uh, you guys will see them too uh, if you want to i'll link the video of us taking them and then you can see that and then you'll go back to that, watch that, and then you'll come back to this and see us bringing them home and we'll get a good look at them and uh, just tell you exactly how they done. Um, like I said, all I want is for these guys to go out there and just be competitive. And that's all I could ask for. And then maybe next year if we get in, we'll train, uh, change our strategy up and uh, go with different bucks, different genes, different genetics. But anyhow, we're fixing to get in the truck. We got a two and a half hour trip up to Oklahoma, and uh, we'll see you guys here in a little while. Hey. Right, are you ready to head up there? Yes, I am, and I think those, I think our bucks are going to do better than average. Yeah, we'll you know? see when we get up there. It's kind of a learning experience for us. So, yeah, I'm ready to hit the road. We're about to find the facts out. Yeah, find out what they're going, what they're going to do. Yeah. We don't know. We just now got done with the conference and um, got all the results and uh, we're going over now to the barn to pick our uh, bucks up and uh, I'm just very pleased with how ours done. I wanted them to come and compete and uh, that's exactly what they done. They competed, they gained, their egg count remained low. Um, and that's what we did. What do you think about it? Oh, I thought they done really well. Uh, overall, uh, better than most. Yeah, um, we had one probably top six, top six. Yeah. Uh, but let me tell you something though. Um, the top herdsman award Went to a couple very nice couple that raises really good goats and we me and them have something in common or me and them and joe have something in common you know what that is uh, brother to the we got a we got a goat that's a brother to the one that won the overall test overall test winners are out of megawatts brother so um guys that just tells me and joe 
we got to get some megawatt suns up here next year to compete in this yeah and that's uh we took bt suns they competed they did good but next year we're gonna have us some uh megawatt kids in here oh sure and uh, we'll select the ones and try to get into it again but we're just now pulling up here uh to get to get loaded up so uh we just got the results um we're pleased with them our bucks competed that's what we wanted we wanted these guys to come compete and they did and we're proud of that so we're going to get them loaded up i'll get some of that on video and then when we get home it's about a two and a half hour trip we'll talk a little more about it but uh we're happy with it and um what do you think yeah for the first time being entered in something like this is uh real informational and we know what we need to do the next time out so while we're sitting here waiting um we looked at uh the spreadsheet that they give us and uh, our bucks they gained how, how much weight both of them gained exactly 20 pounds a piece during the test 20 21 gained 20 one gained 23 yeah. so we're very pleased with that they come in here they gained weight they competed and uh, that that's what we wanted it's a very stressful uh test more than any one thing is stress All right, so we just got them loaded up. It's kind of dark in there, so my camera, I used my phone to film them loading them up, but um, I will stop here and just take a real quick look at them before we get on the road back to Texas. Um, ah, me, like me and Joe was just talking. We are uh, just very proud of our bucks and uh, how they competed and how they done. And uh, Joe, what do you think? Yeah, they done real well and they just look a lot different from what's it been two months God, yeah, three months yeah three months I 84 guess. days 84 days let's go take a let's go take a quick look at them before we get back on the road to texas here they are they just they've grown they've grown quite a bit this is a, most of these are bt sons uh, they shaved their back because they took a, um, what was that, sonogram of their loin? Yeah. Well, what do you think, Joe? Tell me about it. I just, I just like the way they performed and, and turned out. They, they was actually overall a little above average of the, of the group that's here. Yeah, they was. All right, guys, we're going to get on the road. We're getting back to Texas, so uh, we'll see when we get back to the farm and get them unloaded, get just a little bit better footage of them. All right, guys, we made it back to Texas. It's time to let these big boys out, show you guys an up-close uh, look at them, and uh, we'll check them out.
so uh we're back like i said got them unloaded you guys got to look at them um and they was on a test that buck test is a 16 acre paddock um i'm sure they do rotational grazing they do give them just a little bit of feed like i told you in the beginning of the video but uh these guys went and performed uh well for us that's what we wanted we wanted them to compete and that's what they done uh, we know that's kind of you can tell where your genetics are how they're stacking up how they're holding up this uh this was a, a pretty rough test because i mean we're in a drought and uh these guys went and gained weight yeah exactly the, the black one actually done he gained 23 and the uh, brown and white one brought he, he uh he gained 20, which was pretty good, better than average. Yeah, um, and uh, they just competed in a tough test. It's basically, it's like a stress test. Uh, so they're stressed on the way up there. They're stressed in a new environment. They go out, put on pasture, they forage, and these guys were in with bucks uh, from all over the United States. And I would say, I don't have the numbers exactly, but like, what do you think, top eight? Yeah, in the top, yeah, top 10, top 8, somewhere in there. Out of 54, so. Yeah, and another thing that, that they was involved with is the extreme drought in that area up there. Yeah, when we was driving up there, the grass was yellow. Yeah. Burn up, um, and that's why they supplemented a little bit of extra feed uh, because of them drought conditions. Uh, but they was mostly on forage, and that's what the test consists of. So uh, they had to make a decision during the test because it was so bad. Uh, actually, some bucks died. Some bucks didn't make it. Um, and just to see our, our guys here growing, doing good, um, that's what you want. All right, guys, I'm going to close this video out. I'll show you where they're going. They're going into a little buck paddock over here, and uh, they're going to stay in there. We'll get them some feed and water. There they go. We'll get them settled in here. So that was it. We're home. Bucks are home. Bucks competed, did good for us. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's been educational for us. Uh, we're always trying to learn, trying to improve. And data like that, will improve your herd and that's what we're in it for we're trying to make a better goat so uh we're going to capitalize on this we're going to do a little bit of research find a better cross find something that we think can compete a little more with the parasite resistance and get in it next year and uh try to do better and i hope you guys enjoyed it it's been a fun video it's been a fun experience for us and uh, we're going to sign off i'm gonna let joe i'm gonna let joe sign us off you remember what to say Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next catch one. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs>